We need JJ to be okay. We need you guys to pray for JJ. We are learning new details after a toddler was mauled by a pit bull in Spencer. Investigators say the child wandered into a neighbor's backyard just moments before the brutal attack. News on Hunter McKee joining us now live with the latest from the Sheriff's Department. Hunter, what did the Sheriff tell you today? Yeah, that's exactly right, Carl. During an update, Sheriff Tommy Johnson this morning, he says after the child walked into the backyard, the person inside the home heard a noise, and when he opened the door, the dog ran out and towards the boy. This is an accident. It's a tragic accident, none the least, but it's one that could have been prevented. Police were called out to this neighborhood in Spencer last Sunday after one-year-old J.J. Rodriguez was attacked by at least one pit bull. He was transported to OU Children's Hospital in critical condition. Attacked a little baby that was playing in his front yard on a beautiful day that they were just being children playing, guys. Investigators say when the dog owner opened up his door, four of the dogs got out. They're still unsure if they joined in on the attack or not. They've learned that J.J. was not being watched by an adult at the time, and both the dog owner and J.J.'s family could face charges. We have to make sure we're watching our kids and what they're getting into to protect them. And then as dog owners, we have to make sure that we're responsible pet owners and that we have a fence that they can be contained. The Sheriff's Department confirms there has been at least four calls in the last two years regarding loose dogs coming from the dog owner's property. Spencer City Code says residents are not allowed to have pit bulls, even if it's a mixed breed. But the Sheriff's Department says that is not part of their investigation. News 9 spoke to the dog owner, and she says the pit bull has never showed signs of aggression before. A very good dog. You know, we taught him six. He shakes. He takes treats. He sleeps in the bed with my seven-year-old. And as for J.J., investigators say they spoke to his parents who said his health is improving and J.J. still ha has his eyesight right now to did recognize his parents. Live in Northeast Oklahoma City, Hunter McKee, Oklahoma Zone.